All right, this is fourth grade, module five, lesson 35. And in this lesson, students are going to be learning about the concept of N times A over B. And what does that mean? Well, it basically means uh, students are gonna learn how to do three times four fifths. And that's it. And they're gonna learn that three times four fifths is 12 fifths. But it's not going to be just a rule. We're going to teach for understanding, and we're going to teach a variety of ways to represent that so that they get it. All right, let's get going on this. All right, here the directions say, draw and label a tape diagram to show that the following are true. Now, what does that mean? So basically, we're going to start with 8 thirds. And it says so here. It says 8 thirds, so I have drawn a picture of one-third eight times. So I have eight-thirds here. Now they want us to show that these eight-thirds are the same thing as four groups of two-thirds. Well that's actually pretty easy. I can say well let's of course it is. So here's two-thirds, here's two-thirds, here's two-thirds, and here's two-thirds. So if I wanted to I could say well that's two thirds and I can do another two thirds right here and then I can do another two thirds and another two thirds right here and right here and there it is now we can see four groups of two thirds and we can see that yeah that four times two four groups of two one, two, three, four groups of two thirds, all right? And the idea is we really want students to see that four times two thirds. Now this is where we're heading, teachers and parents, that four times two thirds is the same thing as four times two thirds. And we already agree that the answer is eight thirds, which looks like that. So really, this right here is the portion that we want students to start looking and seeing the pattern that 4 times 2 thirds is equal to 8 thirds. And here is really where we start to get to that understanding. So this is, we could think of this as 10 times 2 fifths. And 10 times 2 fifths, we learned, is the same thing as saying 10 times 2 fifths. And 10 times 2 is 20 fifths, which 20 fifths is 20 over 5. Okay, now, <laughs> boy, that's a lot of writing. Are we saying that this is the goal? No way. What we're saying the goal is for students to see that, oh, 10 times 2 fifths? Oh, that answer is 20 fifths. That's what we want, right? Just boom, right there. But this is the thought process, process that we want students to internalize so that they instantaneously know that 10 times 2 fifths is 20 fifths, and it makes sense that it's not just a rule that we're following. All right, similarly, over here, 3 times um, 5 sixths. That's the same thing as 3 times 5 sixths. So that's 15 sixths. And that's really 15 sixths. Now really that's all we care about. And eventually uh, in this very lesson, this very video, students are just going to be able to see the problem and immediately go to the answer with the least amount of work. So here's just more practice. The idea is, by the way, parents and teachers, another idea uh, that we, you know, students can just jump straight to this and solve this, right? So immediately we want students to be able to see, oh, six times three fourths, that's 18 fourths. We want them to be able to just go straight there. But remember, another way to explain it is you could say that six times three fourths is the same thing as three fourths being added six times and that three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths. So we're going to add up 
all of these threes. Well, what's a quicker way of adding up all those threes? That's six times three, and that's 18, 18 fourths. So really, we want students to see that, oh, six times three fourths, that's the same thing as six times three fourths, which is 18 fourths. And again, are we expecting students to write this step, or can they just go straight from here to here? Well, of course. We want them to be able to go here straight to here. But we want them to think in their mind, oh, 6 times 3, that's because I'm adding up all of these 3's. So that's another way to think of it. And just practice with a word problem. Mrs. Smith bought some orange juice. Each member of her family drank two-thirds of a cup. That's going to be an important number. There are five people in her family. How many cups did they drink? Five times two-thirds. Of course, we know the answer is ten-thirds. If we wanted to, we could change that, and actually we really should, to a mixed number. So the answer is they drank three and a third cups of juice. And that wraps up a fun lesson, 4th grade, Module 5, Lesson 35, where students are learning how to do stuff like this and get the answer of 6 fifths.